Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be doing a full face of one brand today. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, but Clinique sent me some makeup, a couple of items, and they were telling me about a sale that they have going on right now, which is something that I am gonna be partaking in. <laughs> And it is 30% off site wide. And not only that, but you also get up to two free full size items, depending on how much you spend. So if you spend $75, you get one full size item. If you spend a hundred, you get two. I honestly think I'm gonna try to get to that hundred mark because there is a blush that I would love to have. There's a mist that I have tried before from them that I really liked. It's really, it's a, just a really good deal. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorites that were already existing in my collection, plus the ones that they sent me. I'm not getting paid to do this video, they just sent me some product. And I thought, you know what, I have enough to do a full face. So let's go ahead and jump in and hopefully you'll get some ideas if you wanna take part in this sale because 30% off is not too shabby, especially when you get free full-size products on top of it. All right, so I already have put corrector on my face. We're gonna jump into foundation. I have two full-size foundations from Clinique. I have the Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation, Broad Spectrum SPF 25. I really enjoy this one. Have I? I feel like I've used it on camera before. If I haven't, I need to. Maybe I'll use this on my next Instagram Get Ready With Me. I'm in the shade WN48 Oat in this. The one I'm gonna to use today though is probably my favorite that I have tried from Clinique. I like, I do like the serum one. I used to have a small, even better one somewhere. I don't know what I did with it, but I really like that one too. But this Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer is probably my favorite that I have tried from Clinique. I have used a couple of these bottles and it just always works for me every single time. It always looks good. I love it. Now this is a, full coverage, natural finish foundation, and it does come in a doe foot applicator. I've talked before about how I don't mind that because to me, it's it's the same as a concealer doe foot that you're putting directly on your face. But if you don't like it, you could easily just put it you know, on your hand and work from there. But this is a foundation and concealer in one. So I think that is why they chose to use the doe foot so that you could use it as both and easily get under the eyes and spot conceal where you need to. So I am in the shade CN52 Neutral. So I'm just gonna take it and swipe it on the face and then I'm gonna take a brush and kind of stipple it in. And I do feel like this is a nice medium to full coverage foundation, but it's one of those ones again that I just don't ever really have to think about and it does last all day on me. And like I said, I have I'm not gonna say I finished an entire one because it is rare for me to finish any of my foundations, but I have used a good amount of another one before it expired and then went and got this one. So when I re-up on a foundation, that is a pretty good indication that I enjoy it. I remember when I was growing up and my best friend, she loved Clinique and she was, two years older than me. So I thought she was just like, you know, she was something, right? Like she was just so cool when I was younger. And she loved Clinique and she wore Black Honey like it was going out of style. And I know Black Honey has had like a resurgence <laughs> lately, but that is kind of like my first foray into Clinique. So every time I went to the mall, I would go to the Clinique counter because of my best friend, because I was just like, well, Rachel uses it. So, it's gotta be good, right? So that's kind of like my first memory into Clinique. And ever since then, I've always had some kind of Clinique in my collection somewhere. So that is the foundation. I personally do think it is a very natural finish. I don't feel like I am any more luminous or any more matte than I was to begin with. I had my L to MD Restore SPF underneath this and it's a very pretty skin-like natural finish, but it is really good coverage. Now I could use this as my concealer, but I bet if y'all have watched any of my videos, you know what concealer I'm gonna use instead. And that is the Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. 
If you are new to my channel, if this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, this is my favorite concealer of all time. This is probably my third or fourth tube that I've gone through. I always have one on backup. It is definitely one that I'm thinking about getting more of during this 30% off sale. And I have started carrying it in my kit. I carry five or six shades in my kit. I am in the shade CN28 Ivory. I have turned so many of my friends and clients onto this concealer. I just love it so much. It is such a nice wearing concealer on me. As I get older, I'm 41 and I feel like every year, things starting to get a little more crinkly under the eye and I need something that is really gonna work. I've become very, very, very picky on my concealers and this is just one that I always go to. I would say I wear this one 85% of the time even though I have drawers full of concealers on my vanity. I just go back to this one because it wears so well. It's the perfect amount of coverage. It's not super full coverage, but it is a solid medium coverage. It's not cakey, it's not too heavy. It works well with any corrector I have underneath it. I cannot sing its praises enough. Heavens knows I have sung them plenty before, but this is a must try in my opinion. I have a couple of other cream type products. So we're gonna go ahead and finish all of those on the face before we move on to the eyes. And I may or may not top them with something else, but these are a couple of the items that they sent me and the, it is their sticks, their chubby sticks. So I have the chubby stick sculpting contour and then the chubby stick cheek color balm. And this is in the shade Amped Up Apple, which is a really pretty, pinky shade. So let's start out with this chubby stick. I feel like I have used this in the past in like a small version, like a gift with purchase or something, but it's been quite a long time. So I'm going to try it a couple of different ways because this is kind of a first impression. I don't exactly remember using that smaller one. I just kind of remember having it. So I'm going to start by coloring it on first and then blending out on one side of my forehead. And I love products like this because I'm already thinking this would be a great eyeshadow, like really great base for an easy smoky eye, good for travel. So I'm also going to try the other side by taking the product directly out of the component onto the brush and then blending it onto the skin. And I'll kind of determine which one I like better. Okay, so doing it that way gives you more pigment, or at least it did for me, versus just striping it on. But both ways blend it out very easily. A lot of times with things like this, I don't like to necessarily stripe it on because I find that it's harder to blend out, but this one blended out pretty easy. So let's try it here. I like that. So easy, and let's try it directly onto the brush. Okay, well. Wow. I'm actually traveling next week and I believe I might take this because look at how easy it is. And being like a cream in this stick formula, it's gonna look more natural on the skin than a powder. Even though the powder bronzer that I have, I really love to. And let's try this blush. And I'll kind of try it the same way. I have my favorite cream blush brush and it's the Royal and Langnickel Omnia BOM 185. So I'm gonna try same exact component as the contour. I'm gonna try just putting it directly on the skin first and then blending it out. It's a really pretty pink color. Hmm, I like that. And then I'm gonna take it directly out of the component. I don't feel like, even when I like drew this side on with the contour and the blush, I don't feel like it really messed up the foundation underneath, which is nice. That's a really pretty color. Another one that I think would be a very pretty eyeshadow. So, so far so good on those, especially for the first time I'm using them. I feel so like luminous. We're gonna, we're gonna powder in a little bit, but let's move on to the eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it if you haven't watched my channel and let you know how much I adore the Cheek Pop blushes. They, they made it into my top five favorite blush 
video. They are just so, so good. So I have three colors, but as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, one of the full size, like free full size, is the Black Honey Blush in the Cheek Pop, and it looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna try to snag that if it doesn't sell out first. But I have Garnet Pop. This is actually one of their pearl shades. And I'll link my favorite blush video if you wanna see them all swatched. Uh, for time purposes, I'm just gonna show them to you. But that's a really pretty mauve color. When I had first talked about these, so many of y'all were like, you've got to go out and get Nude Pop. So I did. This is Nude Pop, a very pretty nude shade, as you can see. And then this one is probably my favorite so far, and it is called Ginger Pop. It's just this gorgeous peachy color, which is my favorite shade for pretty much everything. So what I'm going to do is use this as an eyeshadow and start off the base of the eye look. So I'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush. This is my Refer 15. And I'm gonna use this in the crease of my eye to start shaping it out. It's just, I love, love peach eyeshadow. <laughs> I love peach everything. Uh, I've established this on my channel before, but I just can't get enough of it. It is my favorite color in makeup, in clothes, in general. And I love the Bake Gelée formula. There's absolutely no kick up. So whether you're using this as a blush or an eyeshadow, you are not gonna have to worry about fallout, kick up, anything because of the formula. Okay, they also sent me a duo, an eyeshadow duo. And I have, I can't say that I've ever tried any of the Clinique shadows in general, like in palettes or these duos. This is called Day Into Date. So it's the number 16 palette. So you can see it's got a really pretty like shell shade and then a darker shade. And what I really like is that when you first open it on the mirror, it has a peel off sticker, but it kind of tells you where to put shade one and two if you are someone who's not used to using eyeshadow and may need a little extra direction. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this shell shade, which is a really, it's like a, a powdery, I didn't mean to say powdery, a creamy powder formula. It's not matte, but it's not shimmer. If you know, if I swatch it directly onto my hand, it's got a little bit of a sheen, but it's nowhere near a shimmer. And to me, that kind of formulation is flattering on every eye shape, every eye texture, no matter how old you are. Cause I, I get so many people that are like, I've been told I can't wear shimmer after a certain age, which I think it is a bunch of baloney in my opinion, but for people that aren't comfortable wearing a shimmer after a certain age, this kind of formula is what I suggest because it's not, again, flat matte, but it's got just enough sheen to make it super flattering. I love how bright that is. I just love how the direction that this is going. But instead of using this really pretty plum shade, it's like a plum brown. It's really pretty. So instead of using that in the outer corner, which I do believe is a great way to take it day into date, kind of as it is labeled, to kind of smoke something out, make it a little more nighttime appropriate, I'm gonna use that dark shade as a liner, which I often do with eyeshadows. So I'm gonna take my Refer 29. This is that same formula of not a flat matte. Look at how easy that just glides on but definitely not a shimmer, so I'm more than comfortable using it as an eyeliner. Okay, I do not have a technical setting powder from Clinique. I'm interested in the loose one. If you have tried that, let me know, or if you tried any of the other powders from Clinique, let me know, because I am interested in adding one to my collection. But what I do have is the powder foundation. So this is the Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation and Concealer. This is in the shade Golden Neutral number eight. And y'all, I have had this in my collection for months. And you know what's happened? It's gotten somehow over on the top of my highest drawers over there underneath something else. And I just totally forgot about it. So this is the first time I'm using this, even though I've owned it for forever. But I figure I will use this lightly to set the foundation kind of as a powder. 
but I am very interested to use it as a powder foundation because I love a good powder foundation. Okay, I'm sitting here trying to assess whether or not I need extra bronzer. I really don't feel like I do, but I am gonna show you one of my favorites that I've had for quite a while. This is the Clinique Solar Pop Powder Pop Bronzer. Let me start that over. Powder Pop Flower Bronzer in the shade Solar Pop. There we go. So this is also a baked gelée formula. Hopefully you can see how much I have used it. It is well loved and it is very, very pretty. Also a really nice eyeshadow. That is the shade right there. I think that chubby stick contour stick did great at bronzing up my skin. So I think I'm gonna skip this, but I wanted to show it to you because I've had it and loved it for a long time. Now I am gonna add a little bit more highlight, even though I feel like I'm kind of glowy. Can't ever be too glowy in my opinion. And I'm gonna be using the Powder Pop Flower Highlighter in Lunar Pop. This is one of my very favorite highlighters. Can you guess why? It has a peach undertone. There's a very large dent in this. I don't know if it's gonna come across on camera, but I use this a lot. I love the formula. It's never too much, but it's so pretty. Another, I mean, if you can sense a theme, this is another gorgeous eyeshadow. So if you're traveling or if you just don't wanna think about it, stick this in the crease, stick this on the lid. You've got a really pretty bright, nice eye look and you didn't have to get any extra product out for it. Now, I really like that blush, but I love this blush so much. And since we used it in the eye look, I'm gonna take just a little bit and top that chubby stick blush with that, just to bring in that color a little bit more. And then I'm gonna keep that ginger pop. I think I'm gonna use that underneath the eyes on my Refer 14 and just use that to smoke a little bit of color underneath and finish out the eye look, kind of round everything out. I could bathe in that color. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna take the highlighter and put a little bit on the inner corner and a little bit underneath the brow bone. I did send over a mascara that I have never tried before. This is the Clinique High Impact Zero Gravity Mascara. This actually has really good reviews. I have tried their mascara that comes in the black tube. I feel like that's the most well-known one, but I have not tried this one yet. Oh, it has a curved wand. See how it's got a little bit of a curve. So let's give it a go. I'm not even going to use a primer. Let's see how it works. I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Clinique has a mascara primer. If I had to guess, I think, I do believe they do. It's not bad. It actually went on really easily too. It's more of a wet formula, which made it apply very easily. And this is two coats with no primer. Okay, to finish off the look, I am going to use the last thing they sent me. And this is their Clinique Pop Lip Color and Primer. And this is in, can you guess? Zero one nude pop. <laughs> I'm always gonna go for the nude. I like this um, consistency and formula because as you can tell, it's a little bit shiny and I'm a gloss girl. I like that shiny finish and this kind of has it all in one. It almost feels like a balm, but it's got a lot of color to it. And I really like that color. I think not only is it a Mandy shade, but it also really goes with the eye look and the cheeks and kind of brings everything together. And then you know me and fragrance. I have a Clinique fragrance in my collection. So I thought I would finish off the video with that. This is the Clinique My Happy Cocoa and Cashmere fragrance, which has notes of cocoa, vanilla, golden amber, musk, pink pepper, jasmine, honey sucker, hun Honey sucker, <laughs> honeysuckle, and solar salad salicylites. The style is blissful, comforting, and addictive, and is just a. Oh, it is a sweet, cozy, and like they said, comforting scent. It reminds me of something, but I can't put my 
finger on what it would be, but oh, it smells so good. So good. If you like a sweet perfume, but you also like that like cozy, like I would wear that to bed. A cozy scent, really, really, really nice. So that was Coco and Cashmere from the My Happy line. Okay, that is the final look. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will have everything listed and linked down below. Don't forget about their 30% off site-wide sale and you use the code stock up. I am going to clean up in here and go stock up myself before things run out of stock. So be sure and check that out as well. And if you have a favorite Clinique product, please share with us down in the comment section below. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane, and that most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.